Hey guys! Today's video is going to be a pregnancy update because so many of you have been requesting I do one. So I figure I would do it sooner than later because you never know when this baby's gonna decide to come. So, anyhow, before I get into any of that though, I want to address something really quickly. Um, some of you guys have been, or a lot of you have been asking about any sort of like social media. If I have it, like what the usernames are, blah blah blah. So I have a personal one, which some of you have found, and I have no idea how you did that. But go on, follow it, and follow it, the one linked below for Instagram. The, my personal one will have no relation to my YouTube, barely to my baby, like anything like that. Um, but my YouTube one will. So go follow it. Any giveaways, any announcements, anything YouTube related will be on that one. So go follow it, link below. Also, I'm going to be doing, I think, a video after this about, or like, just a question and answer. Um, probably a pregnancy one, because that's what I think most people have questions about. Um, so, I want to keep those questions kind of organized. Um, so, my Ask FM is also linked below, so I think I'm just going to pull questions from there. Um, yeah. If you don't have an Ask FM and you want to create one for the sake of this video, or for the sake of asking me a question, just go ahead and leave your questions below, but I will likely be pulling them from Ask FM. But other than that, I guess let's talk about my pregnancy thus far. I am 31 weeks pregnant, almost 32, so a few days away from 32 weeks. So I'm getting pretty close to full term, um, just about 8 months or, or 8 months, no, 2 months or so away, 8, eight weeks about. So, it's coming up fast, like summer flew by, so those three months were just gone, so that went by really fast. Um, I didn't start showing until probably like early July or so, early mid-July. I, I had a flat stomach for a long time, and then sort of gradually started to show a little bit. Um, I don't have a lot of room, like when I first got pregnant, like... I was very small, like I was very petite, and there's just there was not a lot of room, even right now, like my stomach is obviously stretched, but there's not a lot of room for babies, so he's just kind of in there, and he's really compact, I guess I'll show you guys my bump too. So that's just my bump there. It's like kind of big, I guess, but like for 32 weeks, like it could be bigger. It's getting uncomfortable for sure, like sleeping is a lot harder, um, just like walking, breathing even, you know, just, but my second trimester was really, really good, like I, it was barely like a, I'm pregnant kind of thing, but getting into the third, you know, there's less room, it's a little bit harder, and my baby right now, his head's at the top, so um, there is a chance I'm going to have to get a C-section, just because this is not a problem, so. And that also, so I don't get really kicks in the ribs because his feet are at the bottom, but he does kick like my lower stomach and that kind of feels weird and hurts sometimes, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, I haven't, as far as cravings go, I haven't had any really at all. Um, I had a thing for peaches for a little bit. I really wanted peaches and that's all I wanted, but that lasted a couple weeks and then I just kind of got over it and like sometimes I will want a food a certain kind of food and then I'll eat it and then it's not like an ongoing thing so it's not a constant craving just like a here and there yeah and like sleeping wise I've never had issues sleeping falling asleep or staying asleep but now you know falling asleep is a lot harder because your um, sleeping positions are very limited and um, yeah, like you ha like it's recommended you sleep on your left side, which I am a side sleeper anyways. Really, other than I love like all I want to do is sleep on my stomach, but it hurts and it's not good for baby. It's not good to sleep on your back, um, so like right or left side are really your um, best options. Um, yeah, so what they recommend is you prep your stomach with a pillow, just to kind of balance it out a little bit, so it's not sagging onto your bed, one maybe behind your back, and then one between your legs. I just usually do the one um, on the side of my stomach, just because that's really all I find I need. 
And just sometimes it takes a lot longer to fall asleep than normal. And I don't know. I don't know if that's a common thing, which I'm sure it is. You know, I have to pee a lot more often, obviously, because there's a kid sitting on my bladder and that sucks. Um, other than that, though, like, I get nauseous and dizzy sometimes. Um, but it's not to the point where it's, like, unhandable. Like, sometimes I just need to lay down. And that just needs to happen and I need to lay down at that moment. So mostly at school, I do have the option to do that if I need to. So that's good. Also, hot weather, I just don't do well with um, at all, really. Uh, I really like it cool. I like it to be cooled off. Drink lots of water. That's really, really, really good for you, obviously. Good for your skin. Good for your baby. It's good for everything. Um, I do get back pain a lot just because there's a lot of... Um, like your chest is getting bigger, your stomach is obviously bigger, so there's a lot of kind of pressure pulling forward, and so your back is really, really hurting a lot of the time. So <sighs> posture is big, like I need to sit up straight a lot and keep it that way, otherwise it'll like break my back and it really hurts. Um, I don't really have pelvic pain. I know some people do. I don't. Um, like dizzy nausea sometimes. I definitely have like a rather bad, bad case of um, pregnancy brain. I forget stuff. I barely can form sentences sometimes. Honestly, sometimes I'll film, like I kind of feel this way right now. So I sit down to film a video, I cannot form a sentence. And I work retail right now. So when they see the 16 year old pregnant that can't say a sentence, you know, kind of draws a red flag or two. So I'm sorry if you're watching this video and you haven't been really um, familiar with me in the past and I just sound like I have no brain cells. It's honestly For the most part baby brain um, Yeah, I just feel a little bit off sometimes and I forget stuff a lot So I really need to keep things written down. Otherwise I will forget as everyone else like I have my good and my bad days Sometimes a day will go by where I just feel great. I don't feel any sort of symptoms that I shouldn't be feeling or just anything that's uncomfortable for me and other days you know I just want to cry because everything hurts or I'm just tired um, first trimester I was incredibly tired throughout the entire day throughout like that first three four months like I just I would fall asleep in class I'd have no energy I'd come home and I'd nap for three hours I was so tired which makes sense, you know, that you, your body is making another human, so you're probably going to be tired. And I really, really was. Um, and I, like, I was nauseous for that time also, but I never got physically ill with the whole morning sickness thing. Um, yeah, so I was really lucky when it came to that. But overall feeling, though, I think I've been rather lucky with my pregnancy than some people, which has been... A really nice and positive experience but it's not one I want to do again to be completely honest with you um, yeah but that's pretty much that I don't know what else you guys kind of want me to cover like I can do an an updated pregnancy update in like a week or two if you guys want um, just let me know down below kind of what you want that to include because I don't really have a lot of to a lot to go off of right now because this is my first one and I don't really know what you guys want me to talk about. But I figured I'd sit down, kind of tell you what's going on, show you my stomach, this is how far along I am. I'm having a boy for those of you that maybe not clued in. Yeah. So yeah, just um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Go watch my previous videos if you're interested. Um, go. Follow me on the Instagram, unfollow my personal account because that has no relation to this YouTube. So unfollow that and follow the one that's linked below and go on AskFM and ask me the questions you have for me um, so I can do a Q&A within the next couple days. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.